Greetings, O sign. So I'm coming to you with your weekly reading. Um, so let's get started. First, we're going to start off with your angels. And let's see. So you have angel O'Mel. The date's August 18th through the 23rd may be of some significance. And this angel prevents depression. Next, you have angel Mahel. The date's November 18th through the 22nd may be of some significance. And this angel aids in rekindling love. Next, we have Archangel Azrael. And this is the angel of death. Um, and this, also, this angel also um, is a guide of souls to the uh, place of the dead. Um, it is this angel, this archangel is associated with wings and cloaks. Next, we're moving on to your um, Beyond Beat. It's the Beyond Beat Oracle. This is an oracle created by me. Um, so let's get started. It says P.O. So for the new, so the, for the people that's new on my channel, the this oracle that's created by me is basically is I like to refer to the sayings on the card as yin and yang. So just always remember take what applies and never feel obligated to make something fit in your situation. Intuitively you will know, you know, if it applies to you. So it says peace of mind and satisfaction in your professional and personal life. Number two says issues with commitment. Next, we have things that you treasure, you hold dear to your heart. And number four says something major is on the horizon. Okay. Next, we have your healing frequency. And this is another oracle. If you're new, this is another oracle created by me. So the healing frequency you have is 741 hertz. This helps with awakening your intuition, conscious consciousness expansion, higher truth, and it's also good for the throat chakra. Next, we have your mental health oracle. This is another oracle created by me. It says, do a deep breathing exercise. Next up, we have the Native American Symbolism Oracle, and you receive the buffalo. This talks about sacredness and life builder. Next, we have the Elements Oracle, and the element you received today was hydrogen. And it says, hydrogen connects to beginnings and endings and to the spiritual to dreams and visions hydrogen is the most common of elements is present everywhere and cannot be destroyed or created and the crystal you received was howlet and howlet is great for strengthening the memory and stimulating desire of not stimulates desire of for knowledge it teaches patience and helps to eliminate rage, pain, and stress. It is great for the third eye chakra and heart chakra, or it can be used for all chakras. It is associated with the zodiacs Aries, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, and Leo. Okay, so next we're moving on to the Days and Dates Oracle. This is an oracle that I created that talks about um, seasons, talks about days, it talks about dates, and, um, and it also talks about chakras as well. So, you receive the date the 31st. So, the 31st could be of some significance, the 31st of October or the 31st of December. Um, next, we have night. We have Tuesday, we have autumn, we have spring, and then we have the second, okay? Next, we have um, another oracle that I created called Tap In Oracle. Let's tap in Oracle. So you receive the fired card, F-I-R-E-D. 
So either you or someone that's in your energy could have been uh, laid off or fired from a job. Um, next, we have tunnel vision. And then we have milestones. So for real old signs, what I'm picking up with the fire and then the tunnel vision right after, I'm feeling like maybe spirit is wanting you to change fields or, or jobs or what you do for work. That's, that's how I'm feeling. Okay. And the milestone just talks about milestone ages. Okay. Next up, we have the mystical shaman and you receive card 34 and this talks about many paths. So it says, all paths lead to spirit. What you bring to your journey is what will determine if yours is a path of suffering, a path of wisdom, a path of bliss, or a path of loss. Consider the traveler who met two stonemasons. He asks one what, what he is doing, and the mason replies, I am squaring out the stone. He asks the other, who is doing the exact same thing, and gets the reply. I am building a cathedral. One man has a job. The, uh, the other man has found his work and calling. He is part of an em endeavor much greater than himself. Be sure you pick a path with a heart. So yes, yeah, definitely spirit is talking about a new pathway. Um, and the angel number 848 may be of some significance because I'm seeing that on my, on my clock. So it says, um, your call now to take a big, bold step and leave the beaten path. It says, heaven and earth are conspiring on your behalf to support you in this move. Do not dally lest you m miss the moment. It's time to sail into the uncharted. Be sure you attend to both your path through this earth as well as your journey through the, t through the stars. It says, you have outgrown your current situation and ri risk losing your way in your own backyard. You are being called to step out of your comfort zone. Respond now while the call is still a gentle whisper. Even though the woods look thick and impenetrable, venture in and let nature guide your steps through the dark until you reach your destination. Remember, if you do not know where you are going, any path will take you there. Okay? So, next we have some random words for you, O signs. And it says, in high demand, the angel number 444. And then it says, drink more tea. So, that is everything I have for you, O signs. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I will have the timeline of, you know, Everything lined up like I do with my other readings in the description box. And yes, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to y'all later.